Hey everyone, my name is Rip. And I'm Bowie. And this is Terra Firma Friends. So I guess in today's video, um, we're going to try to make some metal tools. Um, we just so happen to start at daytime. Um, Wonderful. I have some more stuff I need to go plant. Um, so, so Tony, why don't you go ahead and make some... Yeah, we'll take a look at making our first uh, metal tool. So when we left off last time, if this is where we put our metals, haha, it is. We have quite a few different pieces of metals. Um, we don't have enough of any individual one right now to make a tool out of it, or at least of the tool making metals. So we're going to need to make an alloy. Um, and the one we're going to start with is bismuth bronze, because we have just enough of uh, the three metals we need to make it. So we're going to need two sphalerite, which is zinc, one bismuthonite, because that is bismuth, and then seven native copper to go along with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up taking that and smelting it, do we have any? We do have a thingy thing. A ceramic vessel. And it's empty! Hooray! Woo! Also, if you need wood, there's that huge stack outside. I will, in fact, need wood. Alright. Um, so, do we have anything... One of the things I always hate is when I go to fire something, and then we have other stuff that needs to be fired that I miss out on. Um, it does not look like it, because we don't really have much of anything right now. <laughs> oh! but I do need to make the mold. Okay. Um, yeah, so to start the game, uh, you need an anvil to make tools. So you can make basic ingots and then make a tool out of those. We don't have any clay molds for those uh, ingots. Not only that, we don't have an anvil to use to make the tools with. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an axe or a saw head mold. So we're going to smelt the metal in our ceramic vessel, and then we're going to pour it right in the mold, and that'll give us the tool head that we can start with. I guess, uh, do you have a water jug? I do have a water jug. Okay. I think I'll just go ahead and make two more water jugs, then, to have in the base. So we Can't can hurt. have extras when they break. Not if they break, when they break. Yeah, they will just break as you use them. Okay, uh, so first things first, we need to make the saw head. Oh, and I'm probably going to screw this up. Well, we're going to try it anyways. Oh, uh, and the moment of truth. Ha-ha! Victory! All right. Nice. I was like, that's one of the hardest ones to remember. Oh. Um, because it's not symmetrical. It is it is symmetrical in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. It is technically symmetrical, but... Boo. And another pair of jugs. Heh, <laughs> jugs. Okay, so we've got our saw mold. Our jugs. And our ceramic vessel with the sphalerite, bismuthonite, and the copper in it. So, from here, we're just going to make a normal fire pit. And you've got all the right proportions, huh? Well, I hope. <laughs> uh, why was there galena in our box of metals? There's Galena in our box of metals? Yeah, I took it out before this video started, and now it's going in the lake. Let's see if I can... Of course! God damn it. My fire starter runs out, and so... Since I'm holding down on the use this thing button, all of the wood comes flying up at me. Yeah. Um, do we have any gravel anywhere? I guess I'll just grab it out of the lake. We do not, as far as I know. So what I like to do with my farm is I like to put gravel in the last place that... or in the first place that will not be watered. <laughs> that is a good way to go about it. That's right. 
There's a blackberry bush there. Yes, thank you, Captain. All right, so our stuff is firing. We'll have to pay a little bit of attention to this because the metal will re-solidify if we wait too long to pour it, but that shouldn't be a problem because it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I think it takes... Eight hours, I think. Eight hours? Is it? I, don't know. I thought it was eight. Charcoal takes longer. That's what I was... I think that's what I was thinking of. Anyways, yeah. So we're going to have... And that's not going to catch our stuff saw. on fire over here? Um, it's not going to catch our house on fire. Okay. And actually, now that I think about it, it's time for Tony to go play in the library and figure out what type of stones we can make with a... or what type of stone we need to make a stone anvil. Mm -hmm. Diorite, gabbro, granite, andesite, basalt, dacite, and rhyolite. Not any of the types of stone I have in my inventory right now, which means... We probably haven't seen it yet, or at least I haven't. Yeah, so we're going to need to go on a hunt for Red October. No, just kidding. Sean Connery is a little bit too old to be playing that part anymore. Actually, Sean Connery is not too old to be playing any part right now. Yeah, Sean Connery's a badass. I've got a riddle for you, Trebek. <laughs> What's the difference between your mother and a mallard with a cold? I don't know the punchline. I'm excited. Oh, you really don't know the punchline? No, I don't know the punchline of that one. One's a sick duck. I can't remember the rest, but your mother's a whore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the SNL skits to me. Oh, it's ready. Ha ha. And pouring, pouring. Or faster, you son of a bitch. Thank you. So now we have a saw head. We have a saw head. Unfortunately, it will break the mold, but we have a bismuth bronze saw. Now we can make all of the things that we need to make out of wood. Ow! Um, well... I was just standing up here eating an onion, and Mr. Zombie said, Hey, rip that butt. Fuck you. Tasty. So I was going to get in the base. All right. So I have a workbench, so now I have an expanded crafting area. The nice thing about this game is you don't have to build the crafting table and bring it with you everywhere. You just get it built in automatically, and... Rip, I didn't grab enough wood for yours, so we're gonna either gonna have to... Oh, God! We need a better yes. door. Well, that's one of the things we can make with our new saw. Those are for <gasps> ye. Those are for me. Now, oh, man. That actually looks pretty cool. Workbench! Now I can make stuff. Hey, Rip, you wanna put this up? What is it? Something we very sorely need. A door? Whee! I guess I could get the uh, other bronze ready for firing. Seven tetrahedrite and the two copper. So yeah, the two different uh, there's two different types of copper. You can mix and match them however you need. So yeah, we're good for uh, another <laughs> copper tool. Well, there's like three. Well, we have two. There's like three or four actually, right? Uh, I think there's three. There's uh, tetrahedrite, native copper, and then uh, malachite. I believe is the last one. Malachite uh -oh. reminds me of Malachi, the bowling god. <laughs> we're also gonna need. A mold for whichever tool we decide to make. And I think we're both in agreement? Question pickaxe. marks? Yeah, I was thinking pickaxe too. Hopefully I make it right with this clay because we don't have enough clay right now. Because we're not surrounded by it. What? Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> So now let's see, I'm going to try to make some jute. I'm going to take this large vessel and fill it with water, which means I am now overburdened, so I can't move. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to place it here, unseal it, throw the jute in, seal it, and now the output will be jute fiber. 
And we can turn that jute fiber into rope, and then we can go grab some uh, cows. All right. So cool. is just... today just an exploration day? I don't know about just exploration, but there's still going to be... we still got a bunch of things that we need to find before we can really uh, settle down heartily. All right, well, I'm going to go onto my other land mass. Did I, I still have my pumpkins in case I need to uh, just make a really quick shelter. <laughs> Your pumpkin house? Yeah, pumpkin house. All right, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to run around and see if I can't find another type of stone that'll work as our stone anvil. Because we actually do need that to go anywhere beyond, like, to make a copper anvil, we need a stone anvil, which is uh, a little frustrating, but we can take a couple minutes to try and find one. Can I, if I jump into here, is there a way that I can get out? <laughs> that is the question that I ask myself. I spy with my little eyes. I think there Cows. is. So let me just. Oh! Ow! I meant to jump into that hot tub. Yeah, this is. Um, Did you miss? Yeah, this here is Bismuthanite. That's actually a pretty good color for it. <laughs> Hooray! I am adept at agriculture. <laughs> I just. Uh, I'm some. close. I popped some maize and or some corn. We like to call it corn, but the game calls it maize. You popped some corn. Yeah. You better fucking give me some. Um. And two seeds popped out instead of just one. That's one of the things you get when you become adept at agriculture. <gasps> I found a lot of corn here. Whoa, that's a lot of corn and jute. Holy cow! Holy! Oh my! Um. Wow. Okay, there we go. I just found a lot of jute and corn. And we have a bronze pickaxe. Nice. In the meantime, Rip is still picking this corn and jute that I mentioned a while ago. Ah, uh, you know. Oh my god. I found the jute capital of the world. Well, you also better find the pumpkin hut that's going to save your ass for the night, so... I'm picking all this jute first. Okay, here's how to make a proper pumpkin hut. <laughs> <laughs> you find a hole, <laughs> and then you start putting pumpkins all around your face. So that nothing bad can get you taken as a sign from the evil enemies that if you attack he who resides within the pumpkin hut, the evil pumpkin kin will come and eat you. Like this sushi. Ow. Hey, Mr. Zombie. Fall down in this pit so I can hit your legs. There you go. Exp. I just made an exp farm. Ha <laughs> What level are you? Four or one. Uh, oh. Like you have the number one and some? Yeah, I'm one and a half. Boo. There's another fruit tree. Oop, 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 ow. Oop, ow, oop, lag. Beep, 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 beep. Here comes the lag. Dude, dude, Oh, jeez. Like pretty hard there. That didn't sound like lag to me. That sounded like something else. <laughs> um. Now what do I pitch? A tent. <laughs> oh, are these onions? Garlic. More garlic. I guess we are in Italy. Uh huh. I told you. I think we're in Italy. Oh. What? Is that you causing cave-ins? No, I'm not near you. I found a bear! Found a bear! Du -du 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 -du. Just run away from the bear. He just wants your picnic basket. Well, I am now at a beach. What and a beach. Picking up dolomite. I'm gonna keep going north. 
Get out of here. Did I sound like I was from Boston? A bit. That's what I was going for. The one asshole that's going to watch your video is like, That's not what Bostonites sound like! <laughs> yes, you fucking do, you prick. That's not what Bostonites sound like. Well, that, now I turn to Australian. <laughs> yeah, I was say, that was not actually what they sound like. Well, that's not what Bostonites sound like. That was... I don't know. I don't know, so... There's two types of Boston. There, there, there's two types of Boston accents. There's the Boston, and then there's Baston. I don't know. I think your Baston is more New York. New York. God, we're just alienating everybody on the East Coast now. Eh, fuck them. <laughs> All right, found a source of protein. Soybeans. Uh huh. Did we already have soybeans? I don't think so. Okay. I did something! Yay! <laughs> oh, so just this around. is a new rock type. Oh, what is it? I don't know. I, it, it's just, there is a... The, the gravel for dolomite is a dark gray. This is a very light gray that I'm standing in Go now. Go find the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not chalk. It is... Rhyolite! Uh, <laughs> that is one. Sure? Yes, because it's the one I found, the big my stone anvil. We found a shit ton of corn, a shit ton of soybeans, and our stone anvil. Nothing else. Alright, so where's our ore chest? Because I have some gold, some hematite, some copper, some bismuthinite, some limonite, some garnerite, um, some... I think that's it. I think I'm going to go out and look for more, um, more copper then. Then after we find the copper and you can make your pick, then you can go off mining, and I can stay back and make a more permanent base. Yeah, so we'll need a pro pick, and then a chisel after that. The chisel to make the quern? Uh, but to make once the we find quern, and... I mean, yeah, once we get the pro pick, then... Tools are just a matter of how fast we get the metal. I'm headed out today try to find the last bits of ore that we need to make our last tool. Um, our last either, first tool. Our last first tool. Yeah, there's there's the three first tools that you have to make. The saw, the pickaxe, and the pro pick. Um, and we need, we need at least one more copper. And it would be nice to find some sphalerite, but if we don't find some sphalerite, then we just need a lot of copper. The biggest problem is we know where all of these metals are right now. We just got to have a way of accurately predicting where they're going to be. Yeah. Uh, the prospector's pick, or the pro pick that we're looking to make, is going to be our guide, if you will. Uh, it'll tell us how close we are to certain metals. Now, we do know where the surface metals are, and that generally points to the area where the underground metals are, but it's really inefficient and actually quite dangerous to just dig around and try to find where they might be. Oh, oh what did I find? Galena? How'd you guess? Oh. Uh... I was wondering how long it would take you to start guessing and whether or not you would guess Galena. But yes, <laughs> I, I found two pieces of Galena. Add it to the And you know what that means. Yeah. One, two, just on the ground. Alright, fuck off, Galena. <laughs> Although this looks like a different kind of rock over here. It might be over by the rhyolite. Oh, give me something that's a flux stone. What a load of schist! <laughs> I might not make it back to base in time if this keeps up. I wonder if it's actively trying to 
do the rain everywhere we can see and between the two of us. Yeah, it might be. Holy cow, it's starting to lag. Do we have a technical difficulty screen that we have planned? <laughs> no, but I can make one. <laughs> Technical difficulties. And I got it a Vita, baby. <laughs> it's the whole song. I mean, I'm close. I'm like 150 away. Almost. 130. 130. 25. Fuck you. Fuck 20. you. Fuck you! So, looks like everybody except for this one zombie over here is dead around our base. I have not explored very far south and west, so maybe that's where I'm going to go to find, try to find yeah, some Yeah, say I went west this past night, and... Oh my god, I can run more than five units at a time. Nice little hill here. Let's see if I can get on top of it and see out. I say, I just found an interesting area. Might have been where I was before. It took me a lot less time to get here than it did previously, but you know. Oh shist. I found some schist. I found some tetra motherfucking hedrite. Whoa. One. What do we need? Like six more, five more? Five will get us a regular bronze tool. All right, well, I'm at three. The nice thing is, it doesn't matter what kind of copper we find. We just need two more copper now. Mm -hmm. As long as neither of us die. As long as it's clan. With an A. <gasps> what is this? Is it good shit? Valorite. Actually, we we have it now, don't we? That works. How much did you get? I, I guess you just one. need one. Yeah, we might have our tool now. I think we do. I'm gonna see if I can find. I found two. That definitely gives it to us. Give me that Valorite, you piece of shist. <laughs> la la la. Because it actually is sitting on top of a shist rock. You know what? This is where you were. I recognize this from editing the video. You probably have a marker around here for Sphalerite. <laughs> awkward. Oh, there's four. Double awkward. You, you didn't come up this far, because I remember you were just in this pit, and you're like, oh, I found some Sphalerite, and you picked one up, and you marked it. And then you climbed up the hill like I was talking to you, like you were talking to me and doing something, and you almost fell off a ledge. You're like, oh, that would have been <laughs> bad if I fell off there. <gasps> what? Is that what I think it is? I what think is it? it is. Woo! Spallerite! Until then, not particularly... Oh, it's a good thing I didn't just jump down from there. Hey, hey Rip. What? Guess what I just found. Tetrahedrite? No. Galena? No. Sphalerite? Yeah. Alright, well we got Sphalerite for days now. I found three pieces. I found some more Tetrahedrite, too. Ooh. Well, don't jump off that cliff. God, this is actually, I would call this pretty rare. Like, usually you're like, oh man, I just need to find this one last piece of thing to do this thing, and you can never find it. And this was a pretty oh, successful... Oh boy. What? Um, so I just found, like, three ores in very close proximity to each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, hematite. And surface gold. Oh, nice. Like, I found another piece of spallery. I can see the gold, and it's... Oh, we might... I have a name for this place. Alrighty. It's the Golden Springs. Did you say you found more copper bearing? Um, yeah, I'm at 7 tetrahedrite now. So we could actually make it with cassiterite if we needed to. Well, the thing is, if we get just a little bit more copper, we can also make the chisel right away, too. 
Oh, yeah. Like, we can smelt it all together in one... Actually, we might have enough Spalarite and Bismuthanite to do that anyway. Uh, we don't have enough copper to do the regular bronze, though. But we can do we... two Bismuthanite bronze. How many copper do we have? We need at least ten. Uh, we have... From... We have four at base and seven in my hand, so... Do we have four at base? It's eleven. We have yeah. five at base. We have, yeah, we have at least three at base. That's all. That's what we would need. All right, we can make a uh, a thingy thing and another thingy thing. Uh, I'm not gonna make it back to base in time. Can you get some clay? Actually, I can probably just go ahead and make the molds. Yeah, I would say I've I'm far enough out that I won't be able to gather the clay in the daytime. All right, so since Tony's out off doing some stuff, trying to get back to base, I'm gonna gather up some clay and make the molds for our last tools that we want to make. The last first tools. Yes, the last first tools. Which are... Let's see if I can do this right. Chisel is just straight down the middle. That is a chisel mold. And then a prospector's pickaxe. Oh god, I never remember how to do this one, so I'm gonna look it up. I remember. I always... It, it's like there's one little one off to the side that I... It's, it's can... awkward. It is an awkward... Uh, recipe or an awkward blueprint. It's like even more so I... than the saw, but it's so awkward that I remember the prospector's pick. Whereas the saw, I'm like, I think I know what this is. You know, if I had more clay, I would just go for it. But I, th I think I know what it is. But I don't want to do it unless I'm sure. Yolo. Yes! <laughs> I got it right! It's oh. the pick with on one side you go above and below, and below the farthest column. So we have five... Two, or wait a minute, am I doing that right? You have five what? So we have a hundred copper. Okay. Eighty and forty, that's too much. We just need two yeah. sphalerite. 80 and 20. Or no, Wait, we need it the 80, other way. Hang on. Hold on. Math is hard. Stop! We're trying to make 200 of this. So we need 40 zinc. So you need 80... You need 160 and 40. 160 and 40? We don't have 60. Of? Sphalerite. Um, yeah, we do. So 60 Sphalerite, 40 Bismuth. I'm going to throw this on the ground and let you uh, inspect it. Uh, 100 Copper, 60 Sphalerite, 40 Bismuthonite, which puts the ratio at 5 I Copper know. to 3 Zinc to 2, to two bis. Bismuth. Uh-huh. And I gave you back the... Oh, am I going to go fire it? Yeah. So we put the chisel in there. Indeed. We put the pro pick in there. And we put... You having fun over there, Tony? Maybe. Put the ceramic vessel in there. Do you have a fire starter? Actually, I can just make a fire starter. I've got one. <laughs> All right, start it up. Hey, Rip. Hey, Rip. What? Jute, 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 jute. Do we have the jute fibers? We do. Nice. Okay. So, let's get back in the base, because that's going to go pretty much all night. So, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we'll go gather those materials that we just uh, lit on fire, actually make the prospector's pick and the chisel, and I think Tony's going to go mining, and I'm going to either stay here and work on our base, and or go get some cows so we can start milking them. We can do that, and we've got the chisel so we can start trying to process some of our grains. 
to make alcohol. Alcohol? Like whiskey and we got rice for vodka. No, rice makes uh, sake. Uh, we don't have any potatoes, do we? Mm. No, but we've got plenty of corn. Yeah, we got plenty of corn for corn right. whiskey. I got Moo. you a bucket. Moo! Oh god! It's on fire! It's on fire! What's on fire? The thatch? Yes. <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> I walked through it! <laughs> Only to find out that the other side was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 